was the best night's sleep I've had in weeks. Thanks for listening this morning. It's just about 6.30 on a sunny morning. Oh, God. Oh, my God. How did we fall asleep? I told you we should have gone to the town. Jeez, but... Ow, ow! Shh, shh, shh. Ow, look at that hurt so much. All right, look. Okay, look, my dad's not going to be up for about 15 minutes, and we got to get out of here. Well, you, you got to get out of here. You sure? Because sticking around for breakfast sounds like fun. What? Pass me my ship. We won't fall asleep, I promise. What else are we going to do at 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, look, you're not mad, are you? I'm furious. Come on. Clark, what the? Mr. and Mrs. Kent. I can explain. Clark and I made this decision together, so if you are angry, you should be angry at both of us. We, we're not mad. It, um, but this is, uh, you're both in new territory. Lana, this is about a whole lot more than just you. So if you don't mind, I'd like to speak to my son alone, please. You sit down. Just, just remember, I am 18. And I've been in love with Lana since I was like seven, so it's not like we just rushed into something here. Please tell me you were at least safe. Yeah, Mom. Safe? Safe has got nothing to do with this. You shouldn't be doing anything like this, especially not under our roof. Well, like you didn't do it? Clark, there's a lot of conversations I never had with you because I didn't think I needed to have them. Because you guys always think I'm not normal. No, no, no. It, it, it's just that... You're just so much more vulnerable now without your powers. Knock, knock. Okay, I just passed Lana flying out of here. What would she be doing here at 6.30 in 